Ooh, do we get to talk to some publics? Howdy. Ah, way to happiness hat, nice. Anything positive to share about the church? Anything positive to share about the church? Yes. Excellent. And in, in what ways? Because I always hear very generically, it changed my life. But are you more wealthy? Are you more healthy? Are you taller? I'm healthy. Okay. Excellent. Love that. Good. Yeah. Do you do you ever worry about the idea that you hear? Um, I'm going to say the same story all the time from a small group of people. Okay. Are you allowed? Do you read the newspaper? Okay. So, where do you get all of your information from? Okay. And and I would say that yes. New. I don't like news very much anymore because I think that they're very biased one way or the other in, in regards to what's going on. So, um, <laughs> this is funny. They won't let you talk to me. So this is your church. Your church disallows you from talking to the public. Right this way. Yes. We can't be on film. We can't be on film. Right? So doesn't that seem strange? The church doesn't let you talk about the church. The two men are on a service called Survival Rundown. The objective of this course or service is to help the person connect to the present time. Think of it like meditation. The two men will take turns challenging one another to see or touch something right here and right now. Do you see that door? Let's touch that door. This mundane activity needs to go on and on as they accumulate the hours needed to complete this course. So how many hours do they need? Wait for it. 1,200 or more hours are required to complete this task. The man is upset because he actually had to pay to perform this service. And worse yet, he only has so much time in a day to dedicate to it, and this staff member is preventing him from doing the work. I'm pretty sure that's the definition of a cult. I hope you understand that. Right? Come into, sa come into safety. Isn't that a scary thought? That you're being shepherded back in? Your church won't let you talk. <laughs> wait, wait, I want to go back to James Steele. <laughs> Have you ever stared a volcano in the eyes <laughs> and come out on the other side? You know, um, the, the shorter gentleman, he was a little bit pissed. He was like, no, we're going over here. Right? No, we're going over here. And no, come inside. You know that just before you go off to sleep and your mind kind of goes blank and you think about something that happened during the day? I really hope that this conversation is what shows up in their mind one of these next few nights. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you could hear her, and I, I've got the mic out. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, I'm gonna take the, the camera off the, the unhoused people here. Um, don't know if you could hear it very well, but she had an accent, right? So aren't we used to uh, the high number of foreign accents that show up in Scientology? You know, he did talk about he, um, he can better understand the things that are going on around him. And that was when I tried to probe. And by the way, I know I didn't do a great job and I'll get better at it someday. <laughs> they do this in Chicago too. So they send you out the back. Okay. I am not invading your privacy. You're on public property. When you go to bed tonight, do you, are you going to think about this that says, wait, the church won't let me talk about the church? 
By definition, that's a cult. And I didn't think I'd be able to get body routers. I'm going to get body routers. <laughs> Hey, uh, MD Media, let me know if um, uh, the police chatter comes up that they're going to head over this way. You know what? So, <laughs> in Chicago, I, I really do laugh out loud when the body routers go in the front door and then they think they're going to sneak out the back door. Um, and, you know, I, I usually go back there and I can catch them in that process. And when these two came out that door, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Chicago all over again. All right, I have to stop looking at my... <laughs> So, they're about to get recalled. <laughs> Can you share anything positive about your church? Yeah, nothing positive about your church? <laughs> hey folks, pack it up, gotta go home, pack it up. <laughs> no staff for you. By the way, when she came out uh, and I turned around, right, you saw the security guard that was originally there. He was still standing at the, the door. Uh, not sure if you've also seen this, but you know, we're basically getting, hey, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> the woman is really trying to get them to, uh, to get away from me quickly. Hey folks. Um, sub to Cubs champion, sub to Boston Audit K, sub to Eric Rader, sub to MD Media. And I'm, I'm not intentionally dissuading you from sub to others. You know, the, the, I'm just saying I love people who are out here consistently and are able to you know, show these behaviors uh, of, of the church. We need the panel. We need the education. Uh, uh, without second gens, there's no way that I have the education uh, that's here, right? Blow drill, right? Giving me the extra information uh, to what's going on here. Um, but love that. <laughs> Do we need to put them on an exercise routine? Declare Dave, give him, again, you want to learn something about Scientology? Talk to Declare Dave. You know, folks, um, I just want to remind you from yesterday, right? So we've got the, the King Louis of France uh, church here. Uh, we've got the Presbyterian Church here. Um, the Catholic Church was just the other side of this. St. Paul Cathedral is two blocks behind it. So uh, this is a uh, church-rich environment. Audi Scientology up north. So if you're just joining us, uh, the two gentlemen came out and I saw that he had the Way to Happiness hat. So he's, his hat has the Way to Happiness emblem, right? The, the circle with the the curvy horizon and the sun on the top and the blue on the bottom. Um, so I, I knew Scientologists and I engaged them and they, they talked to me. Well, as they were talking to me, the woman in bronze pulled them back into the org. Come on, we gotta go back in, gotta go back in. The guy in blue protested, right? Like, hey, no, we, we've got a job to do, right? I gotta go get my stats. Um, they went in, so I went to the back door and I won't say that I planned this, but hey, <laughs> luck favors uh, the people who are there. Um, and lo and behold, they came out the back door. Uh, he told me that, hey, you're, you're hampering our process, you're invading our privacy. Again, no privacy in public, so no chance there. Uh, when they saw that I was going to follow them, they sent the Scientologist back out to go wrangle them up.
We are poor little sheep who have lost our way. Ba, ba, black sheep. And you might as well stay in. Try the veal, I'll be here all day. Follow us on YouTube at Windy City Fate and Watch.